Grade 7 math, number 3.2D, adding three or more rational numbers. Do you remember the associative property of addition says it doesn't matter which number associates with another number first, they'll all equal the same sum at the end? Well, when we have 3 plus 2 plus 4 and the 2 and the 4 group together as a 6 and we add the 3, it equals 9. And we group the 3 and the 2 together, it equals 5 and we add the 4, it equals 9. They're the same. The associative property of addition is going to help us add numbers with different signs. So we have a negative and two positives here. And when we group numbers with the same signs, we find compatible numbers to solve equations easier. So we're going to do the positives together first. 3.75 plus 4.50 is 8.25. And we know we just added positive, so it's positive. So now the equation is negative 5.25 plus a positive 8.25. When we have different signs, we find the difference, don't we? And the difference between these two is a 3. We subtract with absolute values, how far they are away from 0 regardless of their sign. Then we look at the sign and take the signs of the greater absolute value, the one that's farthest from 0, and the 8 is farther from 0. It's positive, so our answer is positive, positive 3. Now, here's a quick lesson. Do you notice something? What if we just jumped in and started doing this equation? Th positive 3.5 plus a negative 2 plus, oh, we have a zero pair, don't we? We have an additive inverse. Positive th 3.5 and negative 3.5 are additive inverses of each other, and they create a zero pair. So we don't even need to do any math in this one. The only thing that's left is a negative 2. So the answer's got to be a negative 2. See? Additive inverses are awesome. They save us from doing math. All right, let's check this one out. We have a negative 4 plus 1 and 1 eighth plus a 2 and 7 eighths. We're going to group together the positive numbers. And 1 eighth plus 7 eighths makes 8 eighths, right? And the 1 and the 2 makes a 3. And when we simplify this, because the numerator and denominator are the same, it equals 1. We have 3 plus 1. It's a 4. Now we have to add this negative 4. So we have negative 4 plus 4. And that's additive inverse, isn't it? They created a 0 pair. So the answer is 0. How about this one? We have a negative 7 plus a negative 1 and 3 fourths plus a 2. So we're going to group together the negatives, and we're going to get a negative 8 and 3 fourths. They both have the same sign. So that's why it's negative. But now we're adding a positive 2. And when we're adding different signs, we find the difference, don't we? And the difference between 8 and 3 fourths and a 2 is 6 and 3 fourths. We take the one with the largest absolute value, so it's different, difference absolutely. And the one that's farthest from 0 is the 8 and 3 fourths. That's way farther than the 2 is, isn't it? And it's a negative, so we have a negative 6 and 3 fourths. See? How about this one? These are all negative. But we can still group them together with compatibility. I see a 0.75 and a 0.25, and if you think of this like money, like 75 cents and 25 cents, that makes a dollar, doesn't it? So this one and this one makes a 1. Then we have a 1 and a 4 added together. That's 5. 5 plus the 1 makes a 6. And if they have like signs, we use the sign of the add-ins, and they're both negative, so it's a negative 6. So now we're going to add a negative 6 plus a negative 6. They both have the same sign, so we add them together. 6 plus 6 is 12. We take the sign of the add-ins, because they're alike, and we have a negative 12, right? So don't be confused and go too quickly and think that it's a zero pair, okay? So let's do this one. When an equation has parentheses with an operation inside of them, we solve that operation first, right? That's the order of operations. It says parentheses first. Then we do the operations outside of the parentheses. So this would be 6 inside the parentheses, so we have a negative 3 plus 6. They have different signs, so we find the difference. The difference between a 3 and a 6 is 3. Which one is farther from 0 with absolute value? The 6 is, so it's going to be a positive 3. 
We find if they're different signs, we find the difference absolutely. That's absolute value, okay? So if you can remember different difference absolutely and my little like signs like add-ins, you're going to it's going to help you when you add negative and positives, okay? Brackets, that's these box-like parentheses, are used when there's already parentheses in the equation, when there's one part of the equation with parentheses in it already. So they just use these box-like brackets to make it easy on your eyes. Now, they tell us to solve inside of them, don't they? Sometimes you'll see parentheses with parentheses, and that's okay. Just generally, you see them used as brackets because it's easier on the eyes. 0.7 and 0.3 makes a 1, doesn't it? And then we have the negative 1. So now we have negative 2 inside of here. Negative 3 plus negative 2 is going to make a negative 5. See? So try to remember these two rules, different, difference, absolutely, and like signs, like add-ins. These are pink. These are green. Hopefully that's going to help you when you do a test. It'll pop into your head with the colors and go, oh, Different difference, absolutely. That means find the absolute value after you find the difference, right? And if the signs are like, it's like the add-ins, okay? All right, we're going to move to our next topic. We're going to go to 3.3. I really hope this unit was helpful. We covered a lot, but hopefully you've gotten it and you're okay. And we're going to go on to the next one, okay? See you there. Bye.